All right, Bill. This tutorial is going to show how to send off a newsletter. So I'm just going to log in here at kingstonchamber.on.ca/administrator. You'll have your own username and password. So once we log in, we're going to see the administrator panel. And we're going to go to the right-hand side the newsletter application. Once we're here, we're going to click on newsletter itself. And to create a new eFlash, we're going to click New. Once we're in this screen, uh, we're going to enter in the subject for the eFlash. This will be the same sub subject that comes up in the subject of the email. So I'm just going to put in eFlash, oh yeah, Chamber eFlash, July 2010. Uh, send date, we're going to leave blank or the default that loads uh, when you load the page. All these other options are fine. Uh, I've entered in some default text here as part of the part of the message. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to end uh, we're going to add in the additional details that you had provided. So I'm just going to copy these and feel free to change this text if you like. Uh, so I'm just going to paste this in here using Control V. Now that our text is in there. I'm going to select the list uh, from the right hand side that we want to send to. So for me, I'm just going to select the demo list. However, you're going to select the eFlash list. So after I select the demo list, I can simply scroll to the top and hit send. Now I just want to mention one thing. When you paste yours in, yours is going to be from a text file. So we've already gone through this and that you may have to make modifications to how, it, how it's laid out. Um, as, as it seemed to be having some sort of pasting issue uh, between uh, the text file and, uh, and the editor here, uh, whereas I've copied it from a Word file. However, once you've got it looking the way you want, uh, we can simply uh, just double check that everything's correct on this end. Uh, for you, this will state uh, bill, and it'll state uh, info at uh, kingstonchamber.on.ca, and the reply is info at kingstonchamber.on.ca. Feel free to change this if you'd like. Uh, these are just the defaults. Um, and if there's any attachments you'd like to make, you can simply browse and, and insert those in. However, this is what uh, uh, this is all the content that I'd like to include. And I've currently got the list selected to the demo, so it's just going to send to me for this one. Uh, and then I'm going to click the send button. It's going to say, "Are you sure you want to proceed?" Yes, I do. Now for you, you've got quite a large list, so it's going to pull up an interface that's going to go through and start sending off each one of those. Um, you'll want to leave that window open. Uh, I believe that that's still the case. The guys may have changed that. However, uh, the last time uh, I've used the newsletter, uh, it pulls up an interface and starts listing off the email addresses that it's sending to. If that doesn't happen, don't worry. Um, I'll, be, uh, I'll be checking to make sure that the newsletter went out A-OK -okay tomorrow anyways and I'll also be available on my cell phone in case uh, you run into any issues. Other than, other than that, um, the newsletter shows up as being sent um, and the message has been sent successfully. If you have any other questions, just uh, let me know. Thanks a lot, Bill. Bye for now.